hello viewers welcome back to lumsy souls in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make 3d face masks that is very comfortable and i'll be showing you how to grade them into different sizes and make sure to show you how this will lap very well on your face please if you have not subscribed to my channel please click the subscribe button below we are going to be using 13 by 9 inches fabric to make this mask as you can see how the mask is neatly done you can use two you will use two fabrics inner lining and the main fabric and we'll make sure to show you how it will be lapping very well as you can see how it is it will be lapping very well on your face very comfortable and it's actually very simple to make so we're going to be showing you that in this video and so we are going to be using this is 13 9 by 13 inches so we're going to be coming in from the edges 2 inches on all the sizes all the side we are going to be coming in two inches i'm going to be showing you that now as you can see what i'm doing two inches from each edge you come in and mark it there and also come in there and mark it you'll be connecting all the all of them you'll be connecting them so let me mark them now and show you how you'll be connecting them so i've connected them now as you can see i hope you're seeing my uh, writing 13 by 9 inches so we are going to be cutting the edges that we have made by 2 inches as you can see I'm going to be cutting it off there remember we took 2 inches from each edge So we are going to be folding this in two. We will fold them in two and show you how to get the part for the face and where you are going to be adding your elastic. So we are using 1.25 when it's on fold. So we are using 1.25. When it opens up, it will be two and a half inches. You see? So I'm going to be showing you that on the mask for you to understand what I mean. It see this this point this place this is where it's going to be on your face on your nose directly so that 1.25 that we have just done is what i'm showing you here now that is what we got there and that is where you're going to be adding your elastic so i'm going to be notching that there now so that it you will be able to see where you're going to add your elastic where your elastic is going to be and also to show you the measurements of the face where the nose is so i'm going to be notching that now when i do this i will also transfer the notch to the material so i've notched it like so and open it out you will see where the notch is as you can see that is where we are going to be adding the elastic and that is where the nose will be so let me show you so that you understand what i'm saying yes so that's how we are going to do it so we are going to be cutting this on the material now and show you how it's going to be so i'm going to be cutting that on the material now I'm going to be, this is the, the back where I have interfaced. I have interfacing on this so that it will make it to be sturdy. As you can see, you can use any interfacing of your type. But you make sure you, you use the very light one here. The one they call paper uh, uh, interfacing. So that's the same thing that is here. And it made it sturdy so that even if you wash it and uh, iron it, it comes back to the real the real study how it it was the first day you made it 
so i'm going to be cutting that with the pattern on the two fabrics i'm going to be cutting that on the two fabrics as we can see the edges that i told you about so i have cut that now and i'm going to be showing you the next thing to do you, as you can see the notches i've transferred it i've transferred the notch to the material So I'm going to be showing you now the elastic we are using is four and a half inches as you can see it's four and a half inches and is in two we're using two elastic for the face mask so I'm going to be showing you how to add it to the fabric to the pattern now for you to see as you can see that thing i showed you during when we were making the pattern so that's how you're going to be adding the elastic i've added it now i pinned it down there and i'm going to be showing you how i'm going to be joining everything the fabric will be front sides facing together the, or the back is the one up facing me so i'm going to be sewing it all the way around I'm going to be sewing it like so all the way around making sure and i left some inches for me to be able to turn the fabric so i've sewn it now and as you can see the what i have left for me to be able to turn the fabric so you see where i'm going to be stopping where we are stopping that's where we are going to be using to turn it so we're going to notch this place now don't notch the place where the elastic is so we're going to notch these places don't notch where the elastic is so the elastic won't fall off the fabric if you notch that place it will go off so just notch the sides and leave the side where you have added your elastic and you're going to notch the place that we left open. We are going to notch, notch it here and, and there. Let me notch it and show you. Yeah, so we are going to be turning it now. Turning it now. Going to be turning it. Make sure when you're turning it, you have to add put uh, put your hand inside to make sure all the corners. You bring out all the corners. You have to make sure you bring out the corners. As you can see what I'm doing there now. You bring out all the corners. So you can put your hand inside. Insert your hand inside. And make sure all the corners are out. As you can see. So go ahead and do that on the four edges. And go ahead and iron it out. So as you can see, I have done it. I'm going to go ahead now and iron it out. See the opening is still there. That's where we, we now turned it from. So I'm going to iron it out now. Give it, give it a good press. And I'm going to be so sewing it all, all round, top stitching it of quarter, of quarter of an inch. So I will do that now with a different color of thread and show you how it is. As you can see, I have sewn it all the way around. As you can see, the the the, uh, the uh, color of the thread sewn it all the way around. So I'm going to be showing you the next thing to do now. We are going to be folding it. You fold it, making sure you align it with where the elastic is and fold the other side too. And you're going to be sewing it quarter of an inch. So as you can see, is the 2.5 that we tried on earlier before. So we are good to go. You have to sew there half an inch, quarter of an inch. You sew it up, stitch it quarter of an inch. I will top stitch it now and show you. I've top stitched it as you can see. See how it is? Yes, so we're almost done. So what we are going to be doing now is that we are going to be folding this backwards. We are going to be folding it backwards. You have to be very, very attentive here because this is where the lapping 
will take place. So as you can see, others will just sew this straight. If you sew it straight like that, it will never lap. So you can see, I will have to bend it that way. You bend it, not straight. You have to bend it, tilting it towards the inside. You're going to do it the both side. So it will give it a V shape. As you can see how it is. You see how it is? You shift it a bit slightly and now sew it there. I'm going to do it on the both side now and show you. When you're doing it, you will see how it will fold. As you can see, you see how it just curves on its own. See the, the V that I have given to it inside there? Others will just sew it straight and it will never grip your, your face. So as you can see how neat it is, you go ahead and iron it out. You iron it out and you're done. So I'm going to be showing you how to be making it smaller. You have to be grading it in a smaller size or a bigger size. When you get the pattern, you're, if you want it smaller for a smaller face, you're going to be taking it in half an inch all the way around. You take in half inch all the way around. By the way, this is the, the biggest size. So for you to get a normal size, you come in half inch inside, half inch, so that you get, meaning if you come in, it's going to be 12 inches by 8. And that's it. Thank you.